gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to announce the new winner of Miss Tourism World. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the People's Foreign Affair Program. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to People's Foreign Affairs, and this is Kusuma Yotazmun. This week, we'll meet a beautiful Thai lady who has made headlines for her displaying of Thai identity on an international stage. She played a role of a diplomat who is tasked with generating positive image and fame for Thailand. Our guest is Miss Nutnarin Silaparak. She's a newly crowned Miss Tourism World 2015, who is studying international mass media at Chulalongkorn University. She represents Thailand. As a Miss Tourism World 2015 beauty pageant in Malaysia, she will share with us her experience and her pride. When you were just a little, little girl, you asked your mother, "What would you be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? What would you say to you, Miss Tourism World?" Wow! And this, our guest today is Miss Nutnarin Silaparak. She's the newly crowded Miss Tourism World 2015. I'm so pleased to welcome you today. So, Adina Ka. Well, Ta, uh, you know, it's a pride of Thailand to have such a pretty girl, not only her appearance, but her mind, her brain, and everything. So, I have a question for you. Well, t tell me, how did you start off with this uh, pageant? Um, actually, my mom, she found the application um, through online. So she was asked whether I would be interested to join. Uh -huh. And then the time was perfect okay. because I have two months off to prepare myself. So I decided to join the pageant. Uh, so at that moment, because so many of them, like about 60 something of them, how 60 many? Country. 60 country. And you're one of them, and you're what? You, how, how do you feel? I mean, this is the feeling that everybody cannot imagine. You must be the one who expressed about this. I feel proud because I was one of a representative from Thailand, uh -huh. and I have to do my best and try my best. Uh, so uh, the rest of them, do they know our country? They yes. know Thailand? Yes, really. How much do they know? I think quite a lot. Yes. Uh, Most of them visited Thailand before. I see. So in sitting as a holding, actually, as a, as a, um, as the queen of the tourism world, I, I could say that, uh, for the crowd to be crowned like that. So uh, to, 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 to them, to them, I mean, everybody craving or everybody just coming with readiness with the knowledge of tourism? Or what? Um, I think um, everyone comes with their knowledge of their own information about the tourism in their own countries. But mm. um, for me, um, to join the pageant, I think it's more like competing each other. But mm. I think we are looking for friends and how to we mm. can be able to fit in with the different cultures. Well, she represents us. She knows about us all. She knows about our culture. So we wish you that uh, our the people who not on the stage only, but the committee, 
they know they what did they what did, how did you show off the the Thai culture to them? Mm, I have to prepare myself mm -hmm. by um, I have to have a very unique characteristics. Like for example, I have to wear the sash uh. Thailand all the time. So uh -huh. everything I have to do have to represent Thailand. Wow, problem. So uh, tell us about just you have to change many outfits. Yeah, yeah. Say so. How did you? manage with how quick and all that. Tell us about behind the scene. Oh, it's quite tight. Um, but I have to prepare all the clothes mm -hmm. and... By yourself? Um, yeah, but my mom... My mom or your mom? Don't tell me this outfit is... She designed it. <laughs> Mommy, it's not ordinary. Wow, beautiful. You could see that. So tell us about that, please. Um, I have to change for the three outfit a day mm -hmm. and but it's quite easy because I can prepare it myself before mm -hmm. I came to Malacca. Mm -hmm. um, I have like the photo book and shooting all the outfit and then I just like flip the book and choose whether it fits on each event. Oh I see. So uh, then uh, okay first first uh, costume first outfit what were you wearing um, when you came out from the on the stage? Um, on the stage for the it first was the Thai national costume. Thai national costume and then and then how quick you have to go back and and, and change it oh, 10 minutes oh, 10 minutes and who's behind mommy is behind the scene mommy's and, and the, my sister is helping only among your people yeah and who do the makeup um my personal makeup oh wow so everything will be in the hectic and then after the thai costume and then next um the traditional malacca costume or did you have to wear their or their, their traditional? I see, I see. So everybody, everybody have, have to, to wear, wear the, the, same thing. the same traditional. Like mm, you like that costume? Yeah, it's quite mm. similar to to Thai. Yeah. It's mm. good. Mm. Well, and uh, what did you bring uh, to show the Thai identity to them? Um, our costume, yeah, because it's very unique uh -huh. and. Um, the outfit have its own meaning. Uh, you must be having the same question in the heart like I do. Why, which part or what part did you win the heart? You think you win the heart of the committee or the judges? I think it's because how well I represent my country, uh -huh. how well I promote the country to all of the audience and mm. all of the judges. Mm. Being a tourism authority, of Thailand uh, and your crowd as uh, Mr. Tourism World Final 2015. So uh, what are you going to do for the rest of your life? I mean, after this, um, not the rest of your life, sorry, but uh, the, um, from now on. I have to travel with the organization uh -huh. from country to country uh -huh. and like to promote and crowning the next, um, for example, we have planned to go to Nigeria like, oh. to crown the Miss World of Nigeria. Oh, oh, but to do what? To crown? crown the, yeah. uh, so that means what? They're going to arrange some the beauty pageant yeah, yeah. out there. And then after the finalized of the last, you are the one to the crown. Yeah, the, they have to the, pass the, the, like the Are you going to pass that? That's like another year. Yeah. But why are you traveling now? Um, it's because one of the, they wanted to promote the Missourism organization. Yeah, but it's another pageant, but it's an, under the organization. Tell me, it is just like a dream come true for you? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Man? It, it's not something for people to just imagine that one day a beautiful crown like that to be on your head. Did you never dream of it all? No. Mm. What is your intention to, uh, to be in your life, mm -hmm. career-wise? To become a businesswoman, just mm -hmm. like my mom. Mm -hmm. You can do many other things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe um, a travel agency. Uh, yes, because you come to that part of it. The, 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 the subject that you're studying, even today, you are still studying yes. in Chuan Long University. On what faculty? Um, communication arts. The communication arts, too. To Still, with, yeah, with that. Student. Yeah. Is there any doing anything? Are your friends sitting next to you in the class, what did they say? Um, they said congratulations. <laughs> every day? Um, not every day. Every, to meet the you. first day I came uh, to the school. Uh, 
So any of them to like to follow your footstep? Um, <laughs> um, I Not think they easy. take a look at the the Instagram page, uh -huh. yeah, then they saw. Uh, not that easy, but you have uh, how many in your family? Um, five. Five in your family, and your your sibling? Um, I have one sister and one younger sister. Uh, so all three girls. So each of them will be having walking the same step with you. Or? I don't think so. No, <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, that is great. So Thailand is a country of rich in many ways. So uh, how would you promote Thailand to the rest of the world, apart from what you have done? Um, as a Miss Tourism, I would like to welcome them to Thailand mm. um, because we have so many things that mm. they are looking for mm. and it's quite easy for traveling in Thailand and mm. we have got a lot of things. Thailand is a country of traditional and culture. Younger generation needs better what you call, well, need to learn more, need to behave properly, and you are the same generation, how would you tell them that, well, you can be example very well, because you are the obedient child, I suppose, obedient child of the parents, you succeeded at what you are undertaking. So uh, what is your suggestion? I think education is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. For example, if we have like the basic education, it's it is more easier to start to do things. Mm -hmm. Yes, health very important. You are so like you have to agree with me with the coloring of the you know the skin, the complexion, and everything. How do you manage to look after yourself? Um, more me be more be careful. Like have to eat mostly healthy things. Like what? Um, vegetables uh -huh. and proteins, uh -huh. fish. Uh, more, more of that? Yes. Interesting. So you don't like nam prick and all that, the Thai, no, no. you know? I don't like spicy food. Oh, you spi no spicy food. That's why you got the, such a beautiful complexion and all that, yes? So anyway, so tell me, you said education is very important. So, uh, especially English. We are now uh, with AEC now. We have started off with AEC now. So uh, what do you think that English is how important for the I Thai? It's very important, but during the time I stay with the, the competition, most mm. of them don't speak English. Really? So? Yeah, most of them speak Spanish. And it's quite very hard to communicate. Uh -huh. Especially my roommate, she was from Honduras, okay. and she cannot speak English at all. But then how did you manage? Um, to use the body language and the <laughs> Google Translate. <laughs> Google Translate <laughs> and body language with her roommate. Very interesting. So of all the 60 ladies, the beauty pageant on that day, who were the most scaring for you? I mean, not scaring in the sense of who you think that, hmm, I be lost to her? Venezuela. Venezuela? Venezuela again. So why? Because she was trained since six years old mm -hmm. and she was very perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect in her beauty, her, you know, all that kind of thing. And uh, what did she say when you, she didn't get it? I didn't say anything, but she said congratulations to me. Uh, the Tourism Authority of Thailand uh, did a very good welcoming. Yes. Of course, yes. And now, uh, and so uh, what, what, what work are you going to do for them now? Um, travel with uh, them. Traveling with them, and yet, as you said, every time when they go? Yes. Uh, how about in, in locally in Thailand? Um, I think. Um, after the, the competition finished, uh -huh. they went to, they came to Bangkok uh -huh. for a couple of months yeah, mm. to travel. Uh -huh. So we, there only you and then they was running up. Yeah. Uh, who, the running up is also coming along, or yes, yes. oh really? Yes. So all the running up in Thailand now. Um, but they already went back. Went back to their own respective countries. Mm. So but but going to anywhere, will they going along with you every time? Um, yes. And if I cannot go to some places, I have to send like the first runner up. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, you see, out of uh, uh, 67 million people, we have one other lady titled Miss Tourism World 2015. Thailand is the country of tourism. We really respect, we really proud to have you 
to be a part of our skin and blood and skin and everything here and also to promote because the, the, our tourism world is so. Uh, so you have to learn how did you learn? How did you learn to know everything? Suppose if they ask you, any pick up one of the city, do you know that? Um, yes. Yeah? I ask you, how about uh, Chiang Mai? Yeah, <laughs> Chiang, yes, Mai yes. Too, Chiang Mai is too easy for you, right? I want to ask you something like, um, pick up one that you don't know. That haven't been to or... You haven't been to all. Um, but you learn by what? You look up everything, you map By up. internet. By internet, yes. Mostly internet. We have to talk between what we are supposed to know from you. How deep of Thai culture that you know? Um, for na from now, mm. it's just only the basic, but I'm willing mm. to learn more. Mm. So you learn more means what? How, how do you come to know more? Read? I think I have to visit that place instead mm. of reading and searching from the internet. Mm. Thailand is good in the respecting people, like foreign people who come to Thailand, they always see us smiling, they always know that how people respect to the elders and all that. Do you think that uh, in your G's generation, X uh, used to feel that we should go on with such a uh, customary? Yes, mm. but I feel it is more or less than what we have got in the past. Mm. Well, you were taught, how, how do you were taught? I'm just a normal girl. <laughs> uh, so your mother beat you sometime, right? Sometimes. Mm. So the we still believe in beating is a kind of remedy, mm. one kind of. No. No? no. <laughs> you don't agree with that? Okay. So, well, um, you see, many of the children of your generation, or maybe even younger to you, uh, tend to mingle with uh, cigarette smoking and night out and all that. This kind of thing, it should be, should be what? Should be tamed, should be done, should be what? I think it should be taught the right way, mm. how to like smoke or mm. how to stop. Mm. But you should not say like stop smoking because mm. the more you like stop them, it, the more like, you're pushing them away from us. Mm. So better. Uh, so it's nice to hear from you because uh, they are in a younger age and they, they are in the society of uh, of such things. So it's better to hear from them that okay to move on like this, you should not hushed, be hushed to them. Oh, very interesting to know that. So, but sometimes you speak and you never hear it from here. You go out in this way. Um, I hear it, but it's some. Um far from what I did because I don't smoke. Mm. Yeah, so. mm. We have also some kind of uh, rich and poor. So how do we filling up the gap between the, our society? I think education is also in the gap. Mm. It's education needed, right? Mm. Many people definitely want to know about uh, how, I mean, in locally, how do you being selected? Actually, we were supposed to have a competition mm. held in Bangkok, but there was a bombing in Ratcha Prasong, so they moved to Malacca. Mm. They moved to Malacca, but, uh, but you're being selected yeah, already? Um, how, out of what? By interview. The interview. Yeah, yeah. So how many of the Thai locals? I have no idea. Oh, you, don't, you never uh, see them? Yeah, yeah. So you just go yourself and then to have an interview? Okay. So how did, how did they, they send the message to you that you're the one? Um, they sent it by email and I was shocked because it was like two months later uh, and I forgot it that I have been an interview before. Uh, yeah, I, I want to see at that time I said, what did they say? What did they say? I wish we have that. I said, uh, they said uh, congratulations and you're, you will be the one who, re who represent Thailand. Yeah. Congratulations, you'll be the one who represent Thailand. And the whole family must be brown, <laughs> screaming, right? Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. So after that, so after you accepted that you're going to do, and you went to Tourism Authority of Thailand, yes. uh, what did you do? Um, they have to go to certain uh, training for you. So what are the trains that they, you've been giving? They provide an information, the basic information about Thai tourism mm -hmm. and the strategy used to promote Thai tourism. Um, for example, the seven green concepts. It's mm. mainly about the tourism as an eco-friendly term. Mm. So why were they pointing out to that? 
because they want the tourism to concern about the environment, not destroying every place that we go. Did they give you the question that you have to mark up these are the questions? They definitely ask you. No, not the question, but like the main point that we'll use to like explain to all the questions. Uh -huh. So we are touching the culture, yeah. are we? You, you're being trained. Like what? Can you go detail for what? Um, for example, um, how to be a very welcome mm. to other tourists by... How, how, how? <laughs> um, smile. <laughs> smile, yeah. Yes. Uh, and then? And then um, to use that English to explain to each place and take them to the place. Mm -hmm. So that is use. Then did you, did you bring it to use on the stage? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. and but we actually didn't have like the question on the stage, but it was the prejudging uh -huh. day. So it was more like a sheet and chat situation. So, sheet and chat with who? With the, with the, with the, with the judges. How many judges? Um, five. Five from which country? From what from other country? All the regions. On the region yeah. in the world. Yes. Wow. Because they were, because it it is sixty countries. Mm, oh, they do. They have their representing for that. You know, especially, I, I care about a little bit on Malaysia because Malaysia is the country where where our, our uh, we have a similarity and differences almost the same. So, but they choose you. Mm -hmm. So now you are. Uh, also working, not the kind of working, but uh, representing uh, king, the, some some private the sector also, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. How, yeah. how did you get that? Um, I think they wanted to find someone who would be direct to the point uh, because they were promoting tourism. Yeah, and they choose me. Mm. Again, I want to ask you when they choose you. How was your feeling? I'm very excited and shocked. Uh -huh. Well, well uh, in, in doing for them, what do you get? Um, experience. But what kind of experience? Mm, because I haven't been in this field before. Oh. Mm. So I gain a lot of things from working with them. Uh, how do you divide your time of st studying? And, uh, and uh, mommy will not leave you without studying, right? So how do you manage to, this is for the benefits of the, the children who watch your program also, that uh, what is the benefits that you study also working and in this position also? Um, they will give us the schedule for all the year and if which date is not comfortable for us, we have to like, change. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, that can easily can be done in that way. Well, then I have a minute for you. Please tell to the audience, of what age to watch a program here that uh, being uh, this position, what are you supposed to do and what will you do best for the country? Um, from this age, the most important thing is to study and to be the one who can represent your country and to promote your country mm -hmm. in any ways and also be a good daughter for the parents helping them because they are getting older. <laughs> are you sure? Yes. They're so young to me, but <laughs> anyway, so this is our vulnerable guest, Miss Nutnarin Teleparat, the newly crowned Miss Tourism World 2015. Thank you for being here and I wish you all the best of whatever you are undertaking. Thank right. you. We both will say goodbye to the audience together. <laughs> in Thai, in the good Thai, Sawadika. Miss Nutnarin Siliparak is a pride of Thailand. Call her a diplomat or an exploratory Thai citizen. She made Thailand proud for what she's done. We hope she set a good example for Thai people as a role model. In our next editions, we'll bring you interesting guests who have filled an unlikely ambassador's role for Thailand through their kind heart and good deeds, which serve to enhance good image of the Kingdom of Thailand. This program is courtesy of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and our guest, Ms. Nutnarin Silparak. And last but not least, 
ATAS Bangkok, Thailand for this lovely venue. You can watch our program on every Thursday at 9.30 to 10 p.m. on NBTV. Until next time, Svendika. Thank you.